All right, uh, fine, fine afternoon in the city of Lagos. And we have held station with Kala up and running. Great to see you, Kala, this afternoon. Yes, great to see you too, Agogo. I hope you can hear me well. <laughs> we hear you we're well. we're chatting on Skype today. <laughs> yes, well, we only, I only get to see you once in the blue moon. <laughs> yes, but I, I embrace these moments. It, I look forward to seeing you from time to time. It's, it's good to see familiar faces, especially sitting from where I am. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the health station. I, will, I hope all of you are very well. I always make sure that you do. Um, and uh, I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope you are looking forward to the weekend. And uh, today, I just wanted to, to kind of uh, launch, if I could say that, uh, the Did You Know series about, of um, the health station. So we will be popping up some did you knows from time to time, simple topics that I think are really maybe short, but quite important. They might not take all the 30 minutes of their time, which will give you all listeners enough uh, time to actually call and ask questions or you know, place your comments or contribute in any way you see fit. But I really wanted to, to focus on a few facts I think we should all know about, and that's what... Uh, the whole concept of the Did You Know series of the Health Station show is about. So today we will be focusing on magnesium. Uh, it sounds maybe familiar to many, it might not to others, which is fine, which is the whole point of bringing the topic up today. Magnesium is a mineral and it has, research has been found that magnesium can help with brain functions that reduce stress and anxiety. I'm still focusing on the whole stress and anxiety uh, because we've been through a lot during this year, especially during the last few months. And I think as much as we can know on how to take care of ourselves without counting on the quick fixes of uh, uh, medicinal drugs or what have you out there, sometimes it's just about working on your inner self and working on your diet, on uh, fixing a few things in your lifestyle that will help you adapt to whatever stressful situation that comes by. So magnesium is one of them. And remember that magnesium is the fourth most abundant a mineral in your body so it's actually a big deal and it's really an important mineral because it helps in the proper functioning of your nervous system your muscular system your cardiovascular system it helps maintain your bones uh, promote promote sorry uh, normal blood pressure and it also helps open the airways and it's also involved in your energy metabolism how you burn your calories and how your body metabolizes itself so it's really important and bear in mind one mineral such as magnesium can play a role in over 300 enzyme reactions in your body. 300 enzyme reactions. So it might sound like one little mineral just popping out out there, but it actually is a big deal. And its deficiency has actually been linked to a range of health complications. Agogo, I don't know if you've heard of magnesium before. Sure, I've I've heard of I've heard of magnesium in my science classes. I was uh, doing <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> We're going way back then, but I mean, it's not much spoken of in the yeah. field of health. You know, most of the time we speak of food, of exercise, but we don't focus much on yeah. those little pieces of the that make up the big puzzle. Right. So. I, I'm going to give out some um, symptoms right now to our listeners and to yourself. Right. And I want you to think if these are symptoms you can relate to, because mm. the symptoms I'm going to sk uh, speak of right now right. are symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Mm. And the main one to start, the main symptom that actually pops out and it is, the, is like, you know, the game player is muscle cramps. Mm. tremors and spasm mm. so most of the time when some some like pregnant women tend to have a lot of muscle spasm mm. or athletes tend to have a lot of muscle spasms as well mm. uh, they're always advised to take some magnesium supplements because mm. magnesium helps mm. also on the list you have muscle weakness mm. you have insomnia nervousness hyperactivity mm. high blood pressure mm. Uh, irregular uh, or rapid heartbeat, mm. constipation or sluggish bowel, mm. fits or convulsions, mm. 
tender breast or water retention, mm. depression or confusion. Mm. So once again, if you have, whoever's listening to me right now, if mm. you have one of those symptoms, don't go panicky and say, oh, I've got magnesium deficiency. <laughs> no. Sometimes one symptom can be a result of any other uh, reason. It's not mm. necessarily magnesium. But think of the correlation. Think in general what, what it is you've been feeling. Mm. And if you don't remember what I just said, you can always refer back to, to my Instagram page where I will post everything we talk about on the radio so you can catch up on all the knowledge you need to. Mm. Um, we will be opening the lines, Agogo. I right. think you can, you can give out the line numbers now. Yeah, so you can call in uh, 0700 993 if you... Uh, Think about all the symptoms that Carla has talked about with uh, magnesium deficiency, and you think um, there's a clock. Th- there's a clock ringing at the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that this is while what we're it is. doing that, right. while we're doing that, I will give some tips here because Good. we're talking about the facts about magnesium. Mm. So if you do think you have it, or you just you're curious to know, you know how you can best take it in from the food, you have very good dietary sources of magnesium. And I'm going to give out to you foods that you can find locally because most of the time when you go on the internet or Mm. you read books, you will maybe find a lot of foods that are too maybe uh, out of reach here in Nigeria or too Mm. expensive. Mm. So I'm going to focus on the local food. So you have the leafy green vegetables. You've got a lot of that from utazi to uh, uh, bitter leaf to water leaf to spinach. All these, all those green leafy vegetables, they have a lot of magnesium. So So if you just want to enjoy your stew. Kala, on on people's meals sort of have made it a a rule of thumb saying that they must have green uh, in every meal every day. Does that I work? totally agree with that. Mm. I totally agree with that. Now, if you're suffering from Crohn or a, a certain irritable bowel disease, then you have to really watch out for what you're eating. But in general, if you have no digestive issue, uh, leafy greens are really uh, a superfood. I really call them superfood. And you're blessed in Nigeria to have so many leafy greens. Mm. So embrace your culture, embrace your identity, embrace the, the staple food that Nigeria offers because trust me, it's quite healthy when cooked in a healthy way, of course. Then you've got along the list um, cashews, which are a bit on the high price, but you've yeah. got peanuts, a bit less than cashews mm-hmm. in magnesium content, but granite also does contain. Then on a higher price, you've got almonds if you want to really be fancy about it, but you don't have to. I mean, granots can do. i got granots uh, in my pockets every day. There you go. So munch up some magnesium right there in your pockets. Um, avocados. Right. Very healthy source. Cooked beans. We all eat a lot of beans here in Nigeria from whether it's your moin moin or your uh, ak- uh, akara or your bean stew, whatever it is. Enjoy your cooked beans. Mm. Uh, potatoes with skin. Mm. Soybeans. Mm. Uh, oh, Carla, okra, when you say potatoes, okra, what, the, the, sweet, the yeah. sweet potatoes, because I see there are a lot of uh, sweet potatoes in town now. Does that, do those qualify? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of sweet potatoes, by the way, ah. because they don't just contain, I mean, they have so many, um, so many, so many uh, advantages, uh, sorry, advantages hmm. when it comes to uh, health. And they contain, of course, as you said, a significant amount of magnesium. Excellent. So yes, sweet potatoes are a big yes, yes for that. Definitely. Okay. So you've got sweet potatoes or regular potatoes with skin. Uh, as I was saying, okra, hmm. enjoy your okra stew. Um, banana, avocado, I said it, right. I'm just thinking out loud, we have, oh, and fish, the, uh, the, the fish you find the most locally is uh, titus fish that contains, yeah. which is mackerel, which, that contains a lot of magnesium. Oh, uh, mackerel is really a good uh, good way to go by it. So get your Titus fish. So mm. these are a few things, a few food sources I would definitely encourage you to have. Mm. Uh, then we will shift to other stuff you need to know about magnesium. Okay. Uh, you can uh, give out the line numbers again right. one more time, I go go. All right. So um, to call in 0700 993 993 993. Let me see you sending those calls straight away. And if you're not fortunate enough to get in through... You can send us messages on WhatsApp, 0809-597-5805. And you can talk with uh, Carla on the health station. On WhatsApp, only messages, please. Uh, I think we have a call in now. Hello and good afternoon. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Okay. Uh, looks like um, this is not going through yet. But 
Uh, no keep, problem. Yeah. So I'll, I'll continue and then we'll see whatever comes through. Because yeah. um, there's always so much to say and so little time <laughs> to say it. So uh, one thing you need to know about magnesium, a diet that is high okay. in fat, so a lot of fried food, a lot of oil, butter, hello. that may okay, cause... We, so, sorry, Carla, it looks like we've got yes. uh, one, Go one through. Go um, so hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, doctor. Please speak, speak up so we can hear you clearly. Okay, can you hear me? Better. So, doctor, uh, I had a question. Someone used to eat granite a lot. So the person was like, is it the health or does it have any effect on the body? So please, I want to know. All right, thank All you right, very so much. She's asking about she's asking about uh, granite. Is that it? Yes, peanuts. granite. Yeah, peanuts. Yes, granite. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, in general. And now we're deviating from the topic, so I'm going to go very fast about that, all right? Yes, yeah. they do contain magnesium. Now, there's just one thing about granots. I don't know if they're cooked, boiled. I don't know how she's having them. Mm. But there is one thing that you might read a lot about on uh, granot, which is something we call aflatoxins. And these are formed uh, before the peanuts are actually roasted, which is why it's better to either boil your peanut or roast it. And it's a natural toxin that's uh, produced by a certain strain of mold called Aspergillus flavus, mm -hmm. all right, or A. parasiticus. And it grows on peanuts that are stored in warm, humid silos, which is very typical here in Lagos. The, the weather is very warm and humid. Mm. So if there's one thing I want you to be very wary of is to know where you're getting your granite from. But then again, um, if, if you're roasting it or boiling it, you're safe. The only thing is that if you're watching your weight or your diet or your fat intake, just make sure you understand that a small handful of granite is equivalent to, let's say, um, around two teaspoons of oil, just Ooh. so you have an idea. <laughs> but when it comes to magnesium, it's quite healthy, and granots do contain a very healthy oil. But once again, you have to make sure that your intake of fat is uh, controlled. That's that's for sure. I wish I could answer more than that. There's much more to say, but I'm just getting out like the main highlights so, of So there's, granots, no, there's right? nothing, too much, nothing like having too much granot is, is what you're saying, Kala. No, I mean... Anything, any food, yeah. There's too, if you take too much of it, you're any food. OK, mm. I go go anything you take. If you're mm. taking too much of it, you're not leaving space to varieties of food. Right. So enjoy granite as a snack on top of your cereals, as yeah. a, a food quencher. But don't make it as it's your lunch, it's your breakfast, it's your <laughs> snack, it's your dinner. That's that's my point. Okay. Leave space for other foods that yeah. contribute to a variety of minerals and vitamins. Yeah. Granot has a lot of goodness, but it's not the mm. superfood. There are right. other things that granot doesn't have other foods can give you. Right. So it's always good to right. maintain balance and diversify right. the food intake. So those of you who are anyway, soaking, soaking Gary and granot um, morning, afternoon, night, that's bye-bye. Au revoir. But we, we got yeah, some... Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> diversify. That's the key. Right. Uh, can we take All another right, call? So as I, Okay. okay, let's take another call. Okay. Please make sure it's related to magnesium, though. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, yes. we can Hello. hear you. Yes, please. I want to ask Carla, um, the doctor there in the studio, I want to ask her, whenever I take sweet potatoes, my stomach goes like high pain at the one side like this. I don't know what's the problem. All right, so... Hello? All oh, right. Good, we hear you. Okay. Thank you. It's uh, about sweet potato, right? Right, he's a sweet potato. All right. He might, he might... Sorry, I don't know. I forgot the name. I don't know if he actually shared his name, so I'm just going to go with he. He might have, if he's feeling bloated, he might have a certain intolerance to the sugar found in sweet potato, which is which is called mannitol. And that can cause uh, stomach pain, trigger bloating, or even diarrhea for some people. Mm. So it might suggest that you are intolerant to foods that contain mannitol, M-A-N-N-I-T-O-L. Mm. So just bear that in mind. It might be a slight food intolerance, just... Mm. Try and see if you stop eating it, if you do get it or not, and look into other foods that contain mannitol to make sure you're not ingesting more of that. Mm. So mm. back to my topic. Right. 
but thank you for asking this question. We always learn from any question. I've asked. got several questions um, on WhatsApp for you, Carla. <laughs> let me just share a few facts before uh, you give me the questions. All right. I go go. Okay. All right. So, uh, magnesium, a diet high in fat, as I said, may cause less magnesium to be absorbed. So, um, that's one thing we should know. So, don't overdo it on your fat intake. And also, uh, if you cook your food, you're decreasing its magnesium intake, which is always best that you eat a lot of raw foods, specifically vegetables, salads, or stir fry your food so it's not overcooked. Because in the Nigerian food, we tend to overcook the food, let it boil in that stew, boil, boil, fry, deep fry. So stir frying isn't such a bad idea. Mm. Another thing with magnesium, very good to take it with protein foods. So whatever foods you're having, let's say it's your green leafy vegetables, Mm. make sure you're adding some protein like chicken, fish, uh, meat, beans, whatever it is Mm. to your food. Now, what stops your body from absorbing magnesium? Coffee, tea, smoking, alcohol. Mm. These are always the very uh, you know, frequent uh, usual suspects mm. in, uh, when it comes to the subject of nutrition. Mm. Now, what, mm. what helps absorb magnesium? You've got calcium, which is why most of the time when you buy magnesium supplement, they're, they're, it's magnesium and calcium bind together. They right. actually put them together in supplements. Mm. Vitamin B6, vitamin D, and the, the acid in your stomach, which is called hydrochloric acid, the mm. digestive juice in your stomach helps your body absorb more magnesium. Go ahead with some of your questions, Agogo. I'll oh. get to more facts later. Okay. So um, we have uh, this one from um, Ben in Ikeja who says, can one take this mineral supplements, zinc, iron, magnesium, without having to get a prescription from a doctor? Uh, okay. okay. Maybe I just run through, uh, run through the questions quickly. Then uh, this one says, please, I want to know if it's safe to eat beans on a daily uh, basis. Godwin is the one who's asking the question. Uh, John from Ikorodu says, um, can eating of granodes, the granod people, uh, incre- increase cholesterol? So those are three questions in all. All right. Okay, I'm going to answer the first one, which was about the supplements, right? Right. Without okay. prescription. Usu- doctor. Yeah. Usually supplements are over-the-counter drugs. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. So OTC drugs. So you don't really usually need um, uh, a doctor's uh, prescription for that. Mm. Yet, I would like to uh, emphasize on a few things if you're counting on supplementing. Mm. Okay, uh, when you're taking cal- uh, magnesium as a supplement, always consider taking half as much as you do calcium. So let's say you're taking um, 150 milligrams of magnesium a day. Mm. Make sure you're having uh, around 75 of, of that in calcium mm. because that offsets the calcium's constipating effect, number one, and it ensures an appropriate balance of these two key minerals in the body because all your minerals don't, it's not a one-man show. Our minerals and vitamins work as teams. They Mm. work in synergy. Mm. This one helps this one to help this one to help that one to help this one do this and do that. And Mm. and it's all, it's really all intermingled. Mm. So if you are overdoing it on one and really deficient on another, Whatever you're bringing in is not going to help because you don't have enough of the other to help out. So mm. you really have to make sure everything is in the right amount. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's like mm. if you have, um, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the KK Marwa that can only fit three. Yeah. Right. And uh, you've got two KK Marwas yeah. in one side, which yeah. is your magnesium. And mm. you've got calcium, which is the, the passenger. You've got 100 passengers. Yeah. How can the KK Marwa do its job with the calcium, which mm. is the passengers, if you're not getting enough of that? Mm. You mm. need to mm. make sure that you have enough of each so they can do their job properly. Right. All right? right. Uh, that's number one. Right. Number two. When you're looking to supplement magnesium, look for those names. And once again, I've posted these on my Instagram account, Carla, N-O-U-J-A-I-M-C at, uh, sorry, hashtag, I was going with the email, (laughs) hashtag, sorry about that, uh, hashtag uh, Carla, N-O-U-J-I-M-C. So make sure it's either magnesium citrate, Mm. magnesium chelate, that's a lot of scientific words out there, (laughs) 
or magnesium glycinate and avoid anything that says magnesium oxide because the magnesium oxide the form in which it is mm. uh, it can often irritate the digestive tract so uh, avoid that go for citrate chelate or glyce glycinate mm. then well, if you want to supplement a good starting dose is around 150 to 200, to 200 milligrams twice a day mm. i get a lot of questions if I supplement, won't that be maybe too much magnesium? Can I get uh, intoxicated because of that? My answer to you is if, if you actually take a lot of magnesium, your kidneys will do the job and remove it through your urine. Don't worry about it, just like it does with vitamin C. Your kidneys will also balance out magnesium levels if you don't get enough mm. of it for a little while. So mm. that's amazing how your body works. Mm. Mm. Um, so don't worry about that. It will be flushed into your urine, mm -hmm. an expensive urine, I might say that, if you're taking too much magnesium. <laughs> That's to answer the magnesium supplementing question. Right. Beans on a daily basis. Right. I don't see why not if you don't have any uh, side effects. Many people complain of bloating. So once again, if you want to know more about beans, go on hashtag Carla, N-O-U-J-A-I-M-C. I have a whole slideshow just on beans and why people get bloated. Beans are very healthy. Many vegans eat a lot of beans because they don't have their protein source from meat or dairy or eggs and they're doing just fine. So it's all depending on your body and your bioindividuality and how you digest beans. But in general, I don't see a reason why not. And last question was about peanuts and cholesterol. I think right. I should do a whole show about peanuts. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> really, literally. <laughs> peanuts contain healthy fats. Um, um, sorry, I lost my... Oh, yeah. Peanuts do contain healthy fats. Right. So uh, you've got different kind of fats in peanuts. And you've got... Um, um, I'm trying to look for the name. It will come to my head. Meanwhile, I will explain about peanuts. Why you should worry about cholesterol? What causes cholesterol is not specifically the, uh, the peanuts because people think if I take in too much fat, that's going to cause more cholesterol. Yeah. Let me put it this way. This has become a myth, okay? Um, you've got different kinds of fats. The name is back. So peanuts contain what you call monosaturated fats, mm. which are the same quality of fats that you find in... Uh, Olive oil, for instance, in right. olives or avocado. Right. Um, if you take too much sugar, too many carbs, but specifically sugar and alcohol, yep. uh, bread, white bread, white rice, yam, too much of this and too much fried food, this is what causes your cholesterol. Mm. And people think it's fat, but most of the time it's not the fat, it's the sugar found in bread, the sugar found in starch, the sugar found in sweets, the sugar found in soft drinks. Right. If I were to choose between having my soft drink or my agege bread or whatever it is you have or having my peanuts and I do have issues with cholesterol, I will definitely ditch, ditch the sugar and ditch the agege bread and right. ditch the white rice and the fried uh, whatever it is you're having, fried yam right. or puff puff, for instance, right. for breakfast. And I will definitely have some nuts because nuts do contribute to health in a certain quantity. Right. Right. I hope that answers. <laughs> and we'll have that, that discussion myth. on, on groundnuts uh, because we're out of time, Carla. It's been... Yes, we are. There's much more I'd like to share about um, magnesium. It's all out there on my Instagram page. Agogo, thank you for having me. Never enough time. <laughs> Thanks for all time. of you listening out there. Thank you for your calls. Keep on sending comments. Keep on sending questions. That's what Nigeria Info is about. We're here to help you learn, to help you have this knowledge so you have that power to pursue whatever it is you want to. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Cal. And thank you, everyone, who's joined in the show this fine, fine afternoon in Lagos. We're going to go on a quick break. At the top of the hour, we're going to have the news update, and then Sandra Ezequistili comes in uh, with hat facts. Au revoir, Carla. A <laughs> bientôt. All right. Okie dokie. So that's it. Um, uh, we'll go off now. And... Um, Let's see what we have. What have I forgotten? Yes, I'm Aogo Obwe. Get me, get me on social media. Uh, but I'm going to be com coming back uh, after um, Hat Fact um, with Sandra. This public square uh, with Rotimi Sankara and I. Please don't go anywhere. Lots, lots of stuff happening.
99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.